what it do homies it's your boy dave and i'm back today we about to take a look at the first time for me reacting we about to take a look at barry versus cape beret or barry versus k palm grand beatbacks tag team battle okay this is the first time i'm reacting to a tag team battle i'm super excited to find out how these artists react uh how these artists come up, collaborate with each other to produce all kinds of different sounds i mean from what i've been hearing with the beatbox you know i they beatbox is already producing all these kind of hidden and over over like like all kinds of beats right and you would think it was coming from multiple people now to imagine actually there being multiple people which is what i'm guessing right tag team but i'm only seeing two people uh unless these are team names i just thought about that it's probably team names duh anyways we're gonna go ahead and shut up and turn it up Turn that baby up. I say the twa, you say the turn the uh. It's on Barry, one minute thirty. Twa! Okay, all right, that was fire. I like the part where he was doing a violin, right? That actually sounded, uh, that sounded like a real violin or viola what he was playing. And I like that he added the motion and everything. It's almost as if he was an actual uh, violinist, right? Cause I mean, it really sounded, it sounded nice. I don't know where that came from. I feel like I should know, but I just don't. The beat sounded so familiar. And I know y'all gonna let me know down in the comments. One thing that I know is like super difficult, which I imagine is super difficult when, especially when you add in another person, uh, is keeping up the tempo, right? Y'all both gotta synchronize. And it's so obvious if somebody starts speeding up. And you guys heard that slow down when they did? I feel like that's really risky business when you slow down the tempo, especially when you mess with two people slow down. Like, all right, how slow are we gonna go? Uh, the bass that uh, uh, bass that he was throwing down was just, oh, I was liking that as well. Special that, I like that. It was it was articulate, right? Articulation, man. It's what it is about beatbox, man. The articulation. Yeah. Rebuttal. <laughs> Yo, Kenny! What's good? I think we're about to smoke these fools. I'm about to say, that's tight. <laughs> I'ma hit the thunder, I'ma hit the thunder track like a bumblebee. Got the fucking flow of an Eskimo. Hey. Drop it like it's hot. Hey. Check it. It's the sound of the police, sound of the police, sound of the. Oh, it's <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cat and I do. Hip hop and do the cat and I do. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cat and I do. Hip hop and do the 
Stop. Okay, amazing, bro. See, one thing that I'm liking about this, these are shorter rounds, right? Only a minute and 30, that's not a lot to work with. You can't be playing around. You can't be trying to lay down some fundamentals. You got to jump right into it. Um, I'm guessing this is K Palm, all right? I mean, left to right, right? So, Beret or Barry and K Palm. K Palm jumps straight into it. I love that drop it like it's hot. I like that, 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 um, what was that, that, that bong? Uh, I don't I don't smoke at all, so I'm guessing that was you know when you light it, you got the bong. That was really really I, I really like that. I don't even know how you even do anything like that because you got to have that bubbling effect, but at the same time you got to keep that wet effect at the same time. I mean it was believable as hell. Now when they were doing drop it like it's hot, um, oh boy in the white, uh, the the beats that he was laying down almost kind of uh were like right like elements of actually like hitting a bong you can kind of uh hear some of that like the bubbling and everything in the beat so i like how they int introduced that and made the whole thing kind of you know when you include those elements in there this type of stuff you can do when you when you beatboxing um and then of course cotton eye joe you always gonna get everybody riding out with that and i like how he was like da -da 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 i want you guys to sit there and do that same sound he did i think he did it for I think he did it for 16 measures. So I think he did it for 16 measures. Anyways, what's hard about that is that you've already taken your throat, you're already taking your lips and everything. The stamina is already draining. And he did it at the end to keep doing that and stay on pitch. I think that's really difficult. So congratulations on that. I'm... That was fire. With the response, round two, it's on Barry. I say the toi, you say the toi, the uh, toi. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I know this song. And that's time. Okay, so you can see I mean, the judges were definitely feeling it at the beginning and everything, but it almost kind of sounded the same that they did the first round, right? Dudes over there doing the black shirt, and I apologize if I'm forgetting names and everything. Doing the black shirt was a. Uh, he was riding that base, right? And I guess it almost looked like the, the you could see it on the judge's face. It was like, all right, what else you got? So, so the old boy, uh, uh, his partner was, you know, it, it, I think he could sense that. So he started throwing some extra snares and some extra, uh, some some throat hiccups in there to make things sound a little bit more interesting. And you can hear the crowd, you know, every every now and then it was jumping up and down and everything. But for the most part, I don't think they were feeling it. Uh, uh, K Palm brought that energy though. Right. And it's kind of hard. Right. You can't go real. You can't go soft when somebody just went hard. You know what I'm saying? That's what she, that's what she said. OK. <laughs> also, uh, I don't know what Beret, Barry, I don't know what they did. What was that? What was that anthem? It sounds so familiar. It does, man. I hope it ain't from a video game or something. Is it like an anthem or something? It's something. Round two, last round on K Pop. I say the three, I'll say the two, the one and three. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, Childish Gambino. Drop like this. That was a whole nother level. I don't even, yo, yo, I'm thinking about Childish Gambino. I'm thinking about the song Redbone, right? It's what the name song. You know, that that song starts off high. The boom, 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 right? And because the notes are so staccato, like boom, 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 you don't got a lot of time to make a mistake, right? You don't know got to be perfect right there and there. Like, boom, 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 boom. And not only that, but that freaking drop that he did when he went from high to low and then he went from lower to even lower, Bro, what the what type of control do you have to have to even do something like that? Yo, okay, all right. I like to think of this tag team beatbox stuff like uh, almost kind of remind me like a DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so many ways you can go. It looks like they played the familiar game, which is fine. You know, you play a familiar game all day long, get the crowd jumping. But, you know, you got to choose the right songs. And I think that's what K-Palm did. They chose the songs to get the crowd pumping. And at the same time, they put their own spin on it. That's 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 how you make it your own. This was fire. All right. I, I mean, obviously, I think this is a landslide. It's too bad. I, it's too bad there's no way to find out who takes a point off who, right? That's like that type of information you probably wouldn't get until later and it's probably documented, right? They don't show it on video, do they? That was tight. I know K-Pong probably won this. Keep it going. Barry, K-Pong, small mm -hmm. final, Barry. 2018 <laughs> Grand Beatbox <laughs> Battle. <laughs> Make some noise! Small final champion, 2018 Grand Beatbox Battle, 10th edition. Drum roll, please. Make some noise for K-Pong! Yeah, okay. Sometimes you feel like the, the, the loss is inevitable, you know, like it's, it's going to happen. Now, let me see. Napalm, Kenny Urban, Beatness, and Red. Okay, so I do know Beatness and Red. I knew they looked familiar, but Napalm and Kenny Urban, I have not heard from them. So Beatness and Rhythmine, which if this is going in order, Beatness and Rhythmine is K-Pong. So both of them are fire because I have heard Rizmon, of course, you guys already know he's already fire automatically. Uh, like I said, man, they played a familiar game, but they did a really good job, especially k on by choosing the right songs. I didn't expect to hear Childish Gambino only because the beat and the rhythm is pretty simple and everything, but they, they added complexity to it. And that fall that he did with his, vo with his voice, I mean, that's, that sounds like some video, video game fall, right? <laughs> but it was an amazing battle. I enjoyed it. All right. Y'all going to let me know what's another tag team battle I should check out. Because um, I am interested in this. I bet you there's probably, I mean, is, is K-Pong right now? Are they the ones that's ruling the tag team beatbox? Kind of like ain't nobody beating them. Uh, and as a matter of fact, when did this start, the tag team battle? They always done something like this. Is this something new? Y'all let me know that as well. All right. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.